the 330 NEO, an embodiment of Airbus's continuous pursuit of innovation, stands as a remarkable aircraft. Initially, it didn't stir much excitement from carriers with few orders and a doubtful future. Yet, a shift in aviation dynamics has now positioned the NEO to potentially take the industry by storm. But what's behind this turnaround? To grasp this, we must trace back to its origins. A 330's origin. In 2014, Airbus introduced a 330 NEO to rival Boeing 787, marking a friendly competition in the skies. The NEO distinguishes itself with groundbreaking advancements, particularly its engines. It's equipped with the exclusive Trent 7000 from Rolls-Royce, a state-of-the-art engine that not only succeeds its predecessor, the Trent 700, but also integrates the eco-friendly features of the Trent XWB, which powers the highly efficient A350. The Trent 7000 features an expansive 112-inch or 280-centimeter fan and a 10-to-1 bypass ratio, which is double that of the earlier model. Owing to its compact high-pressure core and the most recent advancements in fully swept wide cord fan technology. It achieves a 10% reduction in specific fuel consumption compared to the Trent 700. This leap in efficiency renders the A330 NEO a compelling choice for airlines aiming to slash operational costs and environmental impact. The 330 NEO's debut was unluckily met with tepid interest, garnering scant orders and casting doubt on its future. Airbus had hoped for sales of 1,000 aircraft but has seen only 300 NEOs sold so far. Nonetheless, Airbus's steadfast dedication to innovation meant a 330 NEO wouldn't be left in the shadows. Recognizing the aircraft's potential, Airbus invested in its development, implementing several enhancements to boost its allure to carriers. A notable modification was the wingspan adjustment originally shared with the A340. Airbus crafted a new 64-meter wing, which was tailor-made for the NEO and includes a blended wingtip device integrated with a new carbon fiber reinforced plastic, or CFRP outer span extension. The upgrade extends beyond the winglet, encompassing a recalibration of the wing's twist, modifications to its camber and belly fairing, and a more efficient alignment of the engine, nacelle, and pylon. With an aspect ratio of 11, the highest for any current commercial airliner, a 330 NEO's wing minimizes induced drag and enhances lift across all velocities and stages of flight. The redesigned wing thus achieves markedly better wing loading and optimizes the lift-to-drag ratio. This strategic alteration aimed to improve the NEO's efficiency in aerodynamics, as the wingspan is vital for performance, influencing lift and fuel consumption. With this new wing, a 330 NEO achieves optimal lift, allowing for elegant takeoffs, smooth flights, and gentle landings. Moreover, Airbus also re-engineered a 330 NEO's tires. Having recognized the airline industry's struggle with frequent tire changes, Airbus aimed to address this issue head-on. The result is a new generation of tires for a 330 NEO, designed for enhanced durability and longevity, extending their life expectancy from 10 to an impressive 12 years. This innovation leads to reduced replacement frequency, minimized aircraft downtime, and considerable financial savings for airlines. Moreover, these tire improvements are not solely about cost efficiency and maintenance reduction. They also enhance the A330neo's performance over a 330CEO. The 330neo now touts heightened efficiency, akin to moving from an outdated, inefficient vehicle to a sleek, modern, fuel-efficient model. Unexpected turn. Despite the neo's notable features, its order book has been trailing, which is to be expected. The segment for long-range, mid-size jets was already filled by the 787, which had established its dominance since 2004, a full 10 years before the NEO entered the market. As a result, NEO's order list has expanded at a modest pace, prompting predictions by some that its market performance may persist in a downward trend. However, the narrative took an unexpected turn. The aviation landscape has evolved since the NEO's launch. With travel demand soaring, airlines face a dire pilot shortage, causing operational challenges, including flight cancellations and delays. This shortage isn't a fleeting issue. It's a crisis with significant ramifications for airline operations. The cost of pilot training has soared, 
deterring many from the profession. The shortage is so acute that it's likened to a wave of retirements overwhelming the U.S. airline sector, with a projected deficit of thousands of pilots by 2023 and even more by 2026. Airlines are responding to the shortage by increasingly deploying wide-body jets and offering incentives to attract pilots, alongside investing in training programs. However, these efforts are insufficient to counter the shortage's impact. This persistent problem is a catalyst for change, compelling the airline industry to seek innovative solutions. A 330neo is designed to meet today's airline challenges, with strategic updates enhancing its efficiency and durability. Predictive maintenance capabilities allow for proactive issue resolution, saving money and minimizing ground time. The NEO's design ensures it can fly more cycles without frequent maintenance visits, capable of covering both short routes under 4,000 nautical miles and long distances up to 8,150 nautical miles. It rivals the 7879's range. A 330neo's longer range without refueling and reduced maintenance costs position it as a cost-effective option for airlines, offering a modern, efficient wide-body jet for high-demand short-haul operation. This gives Airbus a competitive advantage against the 787, making the NEO a preferred choice in the market, helping to increase its order book and compete with the Dreamliner. Airbus's ingenuity extends beyond technical enhancements, preserving a crucial element, the cockpit. Airbus aircraft from a 320 onwards share similar control systems, ensuring pilots a consistent experience across different models. This uniformity simplifies transitions between Airbus jets, allowing pilots to operate various types within the fleet with ease. This consistency is absent in Boeing 737 and 787, giving Airbus an edge. The standardized cockpit design across Airbus jets leads to lower training costs for airlines, facilitating mixed fleet flying, where pilots can fly different Airbus types, enhancing operational flexibility. Airbus's comprehensive approach is evident in the growing number of airlines opting for a 330neo, with carriers like Cebu Pacific and Delta Airlines recognizing its benefits. The neo's fuel efficiency and passenger capacity have enabled airlines to expand routes and improve financial performance, with Cebu Pacific reporting a significant revenue boost. In general, a 330neo's journey from initial skepticism to current demand showcases its resilience, as the aviation industry navigates the pilot shortage, the NEO emerges as a promising solution, with airlines deploying it across various routes and witnessing tangible benefits. Step 4. Package. But that is not all. Recently, Airbus has dubbed the latest enhancements to a 330neo, applicable to both a 330-800 and a 330-900 models, as the Step 4 package. This upgrade promises to boost the aircraft's takeoff weight capacity, enhancing performance during critical low-speed operations like climbing. The Step 4 improvements are expected to provide an additional lift capacity of approximately 2, 6 metric tonnes, 5,732 pounds, at select airports, with a potential increase of up to 4 metric tonnes, 8,818 elbs, for flights departing from airports with runway limitations. Notable airports affected by these restrictions include Madrid, Adolfo, Su, Rez, Madrid, Barrages Airport, Minneapolis, St. Paul International Airport, and several others. The performance boost is achieved through the introduction of enhanced takeoff configurations, or ETOC, which includes intermediate flap settings. The 30neo will also benefit from quicker retraction times for the landing gear and doors. ETOC is based on the common cockpit design shared by the Airbus A320 and A330, which features features five flap and slat lever positions. The choice of flap setting is influenced by various factors, including runway length and engine thrust with the aim of optimizing lift and minimizing drag during takeoff and climb. Airbus has bridged the aerodynamic gap between the five flap levers, allowing for performance optimizations through smoother flap and slat transitions. These new settings fill in the gaps between four existing settings, excluding the one between flap zero and flap one. Remarkably, these changes do not necessitate any physical alterations to a 330neo. Starting in 2025, pilots of the newly delivered a 33900S will have access to these intermediate flap settings, which can be inputted into the multifunction control and display units MCDU 
performance is paid. In addition, TOC Airbus has implemented measures to reduce drag by enabling faster retraction of the landing gear and doors. The landing gear retraction time has been reduced by 0.8 seconds and the door opening and closing sequence by 0.2 seconds. This is made possible through new equipment, including a new main landing gear retraction actuator and hydraulic control device. The automatic landing gear door opening function is another novel feature that initiates the retraction sequence earlier post takeoff. Following previous enhancements that increase the maximum takeoff weight and passenger capacity, Airbus has also improved the A330 Neo sole engine, the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000, and certified the aircraft to meet the latest ICAO emissions standards. The FAA's recent approval of these standards will impact the production of competing aircraft like the Boeing 767F from 2028 onwards. Looking ahead, Airbus plans to further refine a 330neo, focusing on efficiency and sustainability. The aircraft is set to be certified for use with 100% sustainable aviation fuel, SAF exceeding the current 50% blend limit. Payload and performance enhancements are also on the agenda. The addition of enhanced takeoff capabilities is a strategic move by Airbus to make the A330neo more attractive especially to military operators considering the development of an A330neo MRTT variant. Airbus CEO Guilaume Ferry acknowledges the intense competition in the wide-body market and the pressure to align price increases with customer expectations to maintain long-term relationships with airlines. With an anticipated rise in demand for twin-aisle jets in 2024, Airbus remains committed to investing and innovating in this sector. All in all, a 330neo's gradual rise affirms the adage that good things take time, and it's now demonstrating its true potential in reshaping the aviation landscape. So what do you think about this aircraft? Have you ever flown with this 330neo? Please share your thoughts in the comments section.